guys, Susanna here. Um, I've got an exciting new project, which is absolutely gorgeous. A beautiful drawstring bag, shabby chic a drawstring bag. Um, that look at the back of it, isn't it beautiful? Um, I've got 20 kits for and a, a tutorial, and I'll show you what you can get in the kits. Now I've um, yeah, I'll open this up. I'm going to use these to carry my scissors and bits of fabric and all that kind of stuff in there. This has got um, beautiful Laura Ashley on the inside. When I made mine, I'll open this up and put that out there. I just needed to. Um, I forgot to add the Laura Ashley one to my one because I made mine as a prototype. So these are the fabrics I've got in mine. So the kit has, you, ha you have everything to make it. Um, you've got, see how it's got the stitching here? The whole thing gets stitched. So today you're going to be learning um, to put the pieces together. Um, and then it, it, it comes out flat like that. Look at this, it's beautiful. So... I've just done stitching along there. I've added this there. You get seven buttons and I've hand dyed, um, got doilies, hand dyed these little pieces here. Um, you can do as much and as little as you would like. It's just gorgeous. It would make my sister loves it. She goes, oh, I might make have a bigger drawstring and um, maybe make it into a makeup bag. That would be awesome. So, oh. I think I've left something else in there, but it looks it's so gorgeous. So um, you get seven buttons plus two of these, and then I will show you how to place them. I've got these in order of how we're going to be sewing them. You get, she says as she pulls it out, um, these two bigger ones, two smaller ones, you'll be cutting the little trimmy bits off. I thought I'd just sort of cut them as close as I could. Everyone gets a skein. I bought a skein because there's quite a bit of stitching that you need to do, which I will show you. Um, ribbon, I had quite a bit of this ribbon, so um, you get that. Everyone gets a sort of a big doily, a sort of something like that they're all different because you know their vintage doilies are all a little bit different i think that might even be the back there you go so this one's got this particular one you could probably cut that in half and that'll go on the on the edge and then that one probably go on the other edge or something like that these everyone's got two of these which is a bit for in the middle and a bit for on the bottom as well so um, I've got a requirements list as well so this is all the inside lining for the fabric um, and these are all beautiful vintage fabric some you've seen some are new so um, yeah so well, I'll get started I've already I've pre-recorded I've rep uh, recorded part two and part three until this finish point but I thought I've got to record part one and it was something that I had to do after the fact because I wanted you to guys to see. I might just put this back in again. just fills it out a bit. I wanted you guys to see this beautiful, beautiful bag. So, and um, on the third video, I've got... Um, I, I do the drawstring. It's really, really good instructions until the last part. Um, of doing the drawstring and I will actually show you at the end of this part how um, how to do the drawstring like yeah because uh, um, or I might even link it in the third one I actually went online and asked and um, saw a video of how they did it because I was trying to figure out how um, how to do it <laughs> so um, I did figure it out as you can see I was able to, to, to do it um, and you need to do it a certain way so it opens and closes like that. Okay, guys, well, um, I'll just put this aside and then I'm going to... 
this kit here i've got 20 kits and this one here um my sister will end up having she's buying one of the kits i'll pay for it because but i thought i was going to do it someone's going to be really lucky but my sister's going to get this one because i this is an actual kit so after this i'll have 19 so um and i thought i'll leave it in this i need to show you how to put it together so I will, i'm going to when you get the kit you can either use these are 12 12 different pieces of fabric um, or you can get 48 individual three by three squares if you want a more of a where is it where's my little that other little bag i've got which has got 48 different colors and it's uh, this is where my inspiration came from um it's got 48 individual colors you know and and a bottom and all that kind of stuff so but i preferred the shabby chic look yeah and that's like my prototype and that went really really well so this is a real it's good scrappy bag um you can use the scraps i'm going to be having the pattern out i'm in the process i've got most of it the photo and everything but it takes a while to write out um all the instructions and that's when you paint when you're paying for um, patterns you're paying for all the work <laughs> and the instructions trying to figure it out that's why a lot of mine um, I just have a pattern and templates and all that kind of stuff and then I show you but um, I thought I want to have a pattern for the people that don't want to buy any more fabric and want to use up their scraps so it's called a scrappy a scrappy um, pull string bag which I you can use for makeup or take it with you to the craft group I'll be taking this with me to the retreat when I go to the retreat. So, um, yeah. Okay, well, what you need to do is you just get your strips and you put the right sides together. And I'm going to sew that bit to that bit. And then once that's sewn, I sew that bit to that, that bit. And that some bits are longer. But make sure you keep one end, one end straight. Okay, so you just you put both the the right edges together, and then that'll be sewn. Okay, put that one there, and then you put the sew that, and then this is a bit of a longer piece as well. Um, you know, if you want this part in there, you would go that way. And so you're sewing the right bits together and so on. So I'm going to go on the machine and sew, sew the pieces together. And the reason why I need to show you this part is because I've got to show you how to cut it and to put it together. There is a certain way of doing it if you use 12 strips. So the strips are three and a half by three and a half. Actually, I've got a pattern here, so I'm a hang ten. So here's the here's the beginnings of my pattern yeah so um yeah 12 fat eighths or 38 three by three inch scraps so because they um that's what you they, you they end up being three by three so you need to have three and a half by three and a half okay well anyway i will um yeah this is three and a half so I, all these strips are three and a half inches well no no they're three. Oh, they go so they're three by three and they end up being two and a half inch squares because I, I, I um, measured it and I measured the size so okay I will um, proceed to sew this and I will be back okay so now this is what you end up with see how I mean this is sort of fairly level I'm probably going to trim that off anyway and then on here there's bits all over the place because um, you need if you're going to be cutting them three and you need four lots of three inch and some of them like this part when I had the strips and everything there was enough exactly to do um, like 12 inch so that's I've I've done it by starting here and then going along or starting there um, so what you need to do, and this is an, there's another reason for this as well, is when you iron it, iron it all, 
one way, okay? So I'll give it, I'll go and give it a bit of an iron and then I'll show you um, what you need to. So iron it all going one way, whether there, it's a light or dark. So I'm going to chop off and iron it and then we'll proceed to cut it into three inch strips. Okay, this is what I mean by ironing it all towards the one way like iron and it can prove a little bit difficult sometimes because I like to be naughty but I, there is a reason why we're going to be doing it then we get the rotary cutter okay see this is why whereabouts is it this is 12 just a little bit under you probably can't see it there we go so I have to do it off camera. This is a little bit under 12 inches. And so I'm going to even this off straight on the edge here. Make sure it's straight. And I've given myself a little bit of leeway because it's got uh, 12 and a quarter. So I need to cut three inch strips. So one, two, three. So when I'm cutting, for example, see, three inch all the way along. So I'll cut it and then I'll bring them back and show you what I mean. Okay, back again. So when I cut it, I actually folded it in half. It was just easier to cut. And then the first one, and so you cut three inch, go down, and then you cut four strips in three inch lots. So, so that should be 12 by four. Like as in 12 squares go in that way, but four of these. So now we put it together. <laughs> And then this, see, one part only had that bit. You've got leftover bits that you can use in your, some of the money just have this tiniest amount. But um, when I was cutting them, you know, I was able to get some lengths longer. So this can go into your scrap basket. Now, I can put the chair up and proceed to pin. Now, we've sewn one way and then another, okay? See how we've got going like that? And so what we do is we go put one one way. And so that's the same. So we don't want it to go that way. We put another, another way, okay? Then the next one, the same way as the first. And then... The next one, the opposite way, like that. The same one seems longer. Okay, so now the reason why we're going to be sewing, the, see how one's that way, move it, give. it's really hard because it's hard to be in camera. Okay, so when we're sewing them, See, because I've I've done it, I've turned it around and made the opposite. We grab these two ends, and then we go like that. And because it's all going one way, and that's been turned over and done the other way. Where's my pin cushion? Oh, I know that there's that one there. Here it is, because I'm on a longer one. Um, this will slot in rather nicely. So that's going from there. To there see how it's like that so you've got that line and that's gonna show really nice because they're pretty much sort of locking in together so sometimes you know it's a real good little trick just an ironing trick and I mean you won't be able to have that little trick when you're doing um, 48 different squares might be a little bit trickier but I suppose you probably could if you just make sure when you iron it you iron it the right way so and the good thing is sometimes you know you have to sew each bit I sew a quarter of an inch because I've got a quarter of an inch foot and whatever. They all have to be the same because if, if they don't, 
that ain't locking so you always put it in like that and you can stretch it and make sure that it does fit so this gives you quite a good um, accurate sewing Oop. So. and then you proceed to sew those two pieces together see this one was a little difficult coming that way when it was ironing now when you are sewing on the machine make sure that that doesn't sometimes they do pick up but be careful so so slowly so that does stay that way on the machine and then that one comes that way so you know it's not a race so Okay, and lucky last, push them in together. So there you go. If you didn't know this trick, it's a handy little trick that you like know. Now that that'll be sewn, and that'll open up towards that one. So the next one, you've got to remember. Oh, back that way. It has to be the opposite. So um, let's look. Yeah, yeah, it's the opposite. I have started that way. So this, see, that's the same. So you don't want it the same. It's got to be the other way around. And that'll go on there like that. And then you, so you know, you always know whether you're sewing it right because if you've got the two the same these won't lock in so I could probably pin some of this together and so on so on so on and this one uh, once again see it's the same way got to turn it the other way and that'll so what you need to do is go and hop on your machine and so those four strips together so i'll do that pause it i'll do that and then we've got ourselves a blank slate in order to stitch okay so this is what we're left with when we start now i'm just going to give it an iron and um it may pay just to iron the one way it doesn't really matter too much you sort of iron the way it seems to be going so I might give that a bit of an iron might go that way I think and I'll be back and then so once you've turned iron that way turn it around and give it a good flat iron this way as well so I'll be back okay we are back again um, so now you've got to remember that the fabrics are going to be different they like that's a little bit thicker this is thinner because it's from an old um, vintage sheet they're all vintage but some are like rayon mixed with cotton some are you know more linen-y um, yeah so they're, they're different textures but they're not um, yeah that's the beauty of using a, a scrappy scrappy quilt now I think with the this bit which is the very last bit that we do I'm going to link the video that I watched to the end um, in below the um, the third video so now when we get to this part everyone's got everyone's got um, this thread so what you do and I'll explain that in the in the video um, in number two um, we are going to stitch just a running stitch all well i start here start there go one way then go another and then you know tie it off one way another tie it off one way another and then do the same with that if you want to just do it once like go one down you know pick a side that you go down um i particularly think it looks nicer with it on both sides and it holds it holds it all down and i did this um 
when it's like that so you're putting it through um, you know just a little bit over and fairly decent size running stitch doesn't have to be perfect but it really gives it that quilted handmade quilted look and then in this particular kit it's got um, like you'll see in the next video um, all the stuff that I've got on this one um, this one it's got these so you could put see something like that um, I would put in this corner or um, you've got to pick what side you want to be the top and the bottom because you only work with me doing stitching on the three rows um, because this part is going to be tucking under and becoming the bottom so you don't do any stitching all the stitching extra embellishments and everything are on the top three rows so you go okay well um, what do I want to be on top yeah I think this particular one I think that is the top so um, you know you could probably well, that's what I've done here you know something like that or you can actually cut it out it's up to you I think actually I think that works really nice like that and then you, you stitch in there in this particular part you know I would probably cut it in half and have it going like that because that's going to be on the outside so you could probably have one half going that way and the other half going on the other side and then you can probably cut that out and put it in the middle and it happens to have another little piece as well where is it um, this tiny little like bit that I've got here might this these are it's from a really old vintage um, real thin linen and mine had an S on it so it's here somewhere <laughs> probably stuck to the other side of that nope. I'll move this part well I'll find it it's going to go back into the kit anyway um, then we've got these bits and on my one um, you know like I put them in the scent like the big one that one in the center there and then that one off to the center because I had something here but you well, here we go here's this bit um, that might be nice to go on a plain part you know cut around it stitch like that so that's what we're going to be doing in the next video like you know and have it into there so um, I'll show you how I placed mine and all the bits and pieces so you just cut up your bits to suit your um, your bag so that I needed to sew this bit together so you know how they would all inter interlock in together and this part um, in the next video when I show you all that stitching is already done so I thought and, and you use two the six strands I used um, two so I pull out a long big piece and then use two strands together okay guys well thank you very much um, this layout is a, a tad different to mine I think the way I've done this is a little better than the way I did mine and that's why I laid out the patterns the patterns the way that I did and these ones will have, where's the buttons, those small buttons. Yeah. I put the two small, that one and that one in, the, in there and there because that's the centre. See, there we go. And then you've got the buttons to match, but I'll explain that in the next one. And oh, I love it. It is pretty, the hardest bit is actually putting that bit on together, but... Um, it's just I just really enjoyed doing all this sewing and it's so much easier because it's nice flat piece that you can do all the sewing and embellishing while that is flat okay no worries guys I hope that was clear enough for you and I will catch you in the next video and don't forget to 
um, look at the link below for my Etsy store and have a look and get yourself a kit. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy sewing along and creating this gorgeous little shabby, shabby bag. Yeah, shabby drawstring bag. So you can either have it 12 different fabrics or 48 different fabrics. So this is the easiest way to do it. Like it's the quickest way. Okay, thanks for watching.